in the last lecture we learned what are pipes in angular and how and where to use them and we also worked with some angular built-in pipes now in this lecture let's go ahead and let's learn how to create our own custom pipes in angular and we can create custom pipes in angular in three simple steps in the first step we need to create a typescript class and we need to export it in the second step we need to decorate that typescript class with a pipe decorator and in the third step we need to inherit pipe transform interface and implement its transform method let's understand this practically so currently in our angular application in order to calculate the percentage what we are doing is we are using this built-in percent pipe on the result which this expression will return so this expression it is going to return a fractional value on that we are using this percent pipe and based on that value it is going to calculate the percentage but instead of using this built-in percent pipe what i want is i want to create my own percentage pipe and to that percentage pipe i should be able to pass this total marks as the parameter and based on this total marks and the input value on which we will use that pipe it should calculate the percentage let's see how we can achieve that so first of all in this app folder i'll create a new folder and i'll call this folder as pipes or you can also call it as custom pipes but i'll simply call it as pipes inside this folder let's go ahead and let's create a file and i'm going to call that file percentage and inside this file we are going to create a pipe class so the convention here is when you are going to create a pipe the file name should contain dot pipe in it so for example when we create a component we say file name dot component in case of a directive it is file name dot directive in case of a service it is file name dot service in the same way in case of a pipe the file name should be file name dot pipe and the extension is again going to be dot ts all right so here we have created a typescript file now in order to create a custom pipe the first step is to create a class so here we are going to create and export a class and let's call this class percentage pipe so the convention is your pipe class name must have pipe in it for example if i go to the documentation of pipes in this angular website you will notice that each pipe name here ends with pipe so percent pipe uppercase pipe date pipe currency pipe etc so the class name for a pipe must contain this pipe in the end this is just a convention the second step is we need to decorate this class with at pipe decorator so let's go ahead and let's decorate this class with at pipe decorator and in order to use this at pipe decorator we also need to import pipe from angular slash go next to this pipe decorator we can pass a metadata object and inside that metadata object we can specify a name for the pipe for that we can use this name property and let's say the name for this pipe is going to be percentage so again if i go to the documentation for pipes and if i open any one of these pipes let's say user case pipe you see the pipe name is user case pipe so this is basically the class name but when we use this pipe we use simply uppercase so this is the name which we provide using the pipe metadata and that's what we are doing here when we will use this percentage pipe there we are going to use this name so this is the second step we need to decorate the class with at pipe decorator and the third and final step is that we need to make this class inherit from pipe transform interface and in typescript when we want to inherit something we use implement keyword and here we want to implement from pipe transform and in order to use this pipe transform again we need to import it from angular slash co now this pipe transform interface it exposes a method called transform and since this percentage pipe class it is inheriting from this pipe transform interface we need to implement this transform method so inside this class let's go ahead and let's implement the transform method all right so it is this transform method which will be called whenever we will use this percentage pipe on some value so for example we want to use this percentage pipe 
here. So instead of using this built-in percent pipe, we want to use our custom percentage pipe. So let me remove this built-in percent pipe from here. And on this expression, we want to use our custom percentage pipe. So for that, first of all, we need to use the pipe symbol. And after that, we need to specify the pipe name. So here, the pipe name is percentage. Now here we have this error because it says no pipe found with the name percentage. That's because here we have created this percentage pipe. But Angular does not know about this percentage pipe yet. So what we need to do is we need to declare this percentage pipe in the app module. So let's go to app module and there inside this declarations array, let's go ahead and let's declare this percentage pipe. And now we should not have that error. And here we have this error because it says expected zero arguments but got one. That's because when we are using this percentage pipe on this value, the value which this expression will return, that value will be passed as the first argument to this transform method. But for this transform method, we have not specified any parameter. So to which parameter this value will be assigned? And that's what the error says. It says, that the percentage pipe is expecting no arguments but to that we are trying to pass this value as an argument so what we need to do here is here we need to provide a parameter i'll simply call it as value and here for now i will specify the type as any okay so now on whichever value we will use this percentage pipe that value we will receive as the first parameter for this transform method in this case, we are using this percentage pipe on this value. So this value will be passed as an argument to the first parameter of this transform method. Now, what do we want to do here is based on that value, we want to calculate the percentage. So to calculate the percentage, what I will do is I'll simply say value multiplied by 100. Okay, and we will return this value from this transform method. So that returned value, the value which we are returning from here, that will be displayed in place of this expression. Okay. Now in this percentage pipe, we have some error. And I think that error is because we have this extra curly brace. All right. So with that, the error is gone. So here we have created our percentage pipe. And from that percentage pipe, we are returning some value. We have used this percentage pipe on this value so this value will be passed as an argument to this percentage pipe what it will do is it will multiply 100 to this value and it will return it and that value will be displayed in the web page so if i go to the web page and if you go to our application there you will notice that now this percentage is being displayed so now we are calculating this percentage using our custom percentage pipe using this pipe now here, what I also want is for this pipe, I want to take this total marks as the parameter. And based on this total marks, we will calculate the percentage. For that, let's go ahead and let's specify one more parameter for this transform method. And let's call it maybe total. You can name it anything. And this is going to be of type number because the total marks which we want to pass, that is going to be of type number. And here we also want to use this percentage pipe in order to calculate the percentage. So we are going to use this percentage pipe on a number type. So here also instead of saying any, I'll say number. Okay, so we should only be using this percentage pipe on a number type. All right, now here we are specifying a second parameter for this transform method, which is this total. And now we are going to use this total in order to calculate the percentage. So what we will do is the value on which we are using this percentage pipe that value we will divide it by total and then we will multiply this result by 100 so now when we are using this percentage pipe on this value in here let's go ahead and let's remove this total marks and we want to use this percentage pipe simply on this marks okay now this percentage pipe is also expecting a value for the second parameter for the total parameter so to pass the value for that second parameter, what we will do is we'll use a colon. So we have learned 
that in order to pass a value for a parameter first we use colon and then we specify the value for the parameter here i am going to pass the value stored in this total marks property as the argument for the second parameter and with that the error is gone so inside this total marks we are storing the value 600 right so that 600 will be assigned to this total and now the percentage will be calculated based on that total marks with this if we save the changes the result should be same so you see the result is still same but now we are calculating the percentage by passing the total marks as an argument to the percentage pipe so now we are using this percentage pipe directly on the marks and we are passing the total marks as the parameter so instead of calculating the percentage here the percentage will be calculated by the percentage pipe now inside this percentage pipe i also want to have one more parameter let's say decimal okay and it is also going to be of type number so what i want is currently if i go to the web page you will notice let me close this one so you will notice that after the decimal we have n number of digits so i want to make these digits configurable for example if the user wants only two digits after the decimal he should be able to configure it if the user wants three digit he should be able to configure it so let's go back to vs code and let's try to configure it so here this expression it is going to return us the percentage and that percentage is going to have some fractional value and in that fractional value we might have multiple digits so we want to limit it to certain digits for that on this expression what we will do is first i have wrapped it within parenthesis and on that i am going to use a javascript method called to fixed and to this to fixed method we can pass an integer value and based on that it will show the number of digits after the decimal if we pass two it will show only two digits after the decimal if we pass three it will show only three digits after the decimal and so on so that value we are going to receive inside this decimal parameter so let me go ahead and let me copy it and let me paste it here and now when we are calling this percentage pipe let's go here now we also need to pass the value for the decimal parameter so to pass another parameter after this total marks we need to use another colon and after that we can specify the value for decimal parameter for now i will simply pass two if you save the changes and if you go back to the web page you will notice that now only two digits are being displayed after the decimal if i go back and if i say three then three digits will be displayed after the decimal so in this way we have made it configurable to set how many digits we want to display after the decimal point now if the user does not specify a value for this decimal parameter let's say if i don't specify any value here for the decimal parameter you see we have an error now what i want is if the user does not specify a value for the decimal parameter by default its value should be zero so that means it should not show any decimals in the value for that what we can do is for this decimal parameter we can set a default value and i'm going to set it to zero and with this now you will notice that that error is gone and if you go to the web page now there will not be any decimals in the value so if the user does not pass any value for the decimal parameter by default it will be zero and in that case no decimals will be displayed but if the user pass a value for the decimal parameter so for example if i go ahead and if i pass a value 2 in that case two digits should be displayed after the decimal as can see and finally one more thing which we might want to do here is we might want to display the percentage sign so let's go back to vs code and in here to this value let's also append percent let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now you will see that the percentage also being displayed so here we have created a very simple but very useful custom pipe called percentage and as you would have noticed creating a custom pipe is very simple we can achieve it in three simple steps first we create a typescript class and we export it and as we learned by convention the class name must have pipe in the end then we decorate that class with add pipe decorator and there we specify a name for the pipe and finally the pipe class must inherit from pipe transform interface 
and this interface provides this transform method. So we also need to implement this transform method inside that pipe class.